All right, welcome to October's Director Chat. We are gonna start off like we always do with our shelter happenings and upcoming events. So, Bissell Foundation, we're going to be emptying the shelters again from October 1st through 15th. Halloween, right around the corner. If you haven't signed up, get signed up. Otherwise, share with your friends and family. We would love to see a lot of attendees there. It'll be held again at Promenade Park, October 19th from two to four. Birthday shout outs. This is gonna be a new addition to our director's chat. And so we're gonna start with, um, you know, saying happy birthday to those from September and also upcoming birthdays for October. So for the month of September, we had Delaney Atkinson, Cynthia Eckert, Tom Cadlack, and Matt Banish. For the month of October, we have Jeff Dingledine, Brianna Stelzer, uh, Heather Grandstaff, and Casey Griffiths. So happy birthday to all of you guys from September and upcoming birthdays in October. Stats for October of 2024. Again, we're gonna go over 2023 numbers as well as this year's August of 2024 numbers. Our domestic intake, so for dogs, we had 338 back in 2023 compared to this year's 368 for 2024. Cats last year was 752 compared to this year's 737. Our domestic, I'm sorry, our small animals for both years was 25. And then our total domestics for 2023 was 1,115. And this year we had exactly 15 more animals of 1,130. All right, so live outcomes. Last year we had 741 compared to this year's 671. Investigations and stray activities. Last year we had 1,409 compared to this year's 1,514. All right, so next we're gonna talk about the staff kudos. This is always my favorite part of the director's chat. So I'm gonna give a huge shout out to all the ACOs for the number of cases that they are currently investigating. Not that we ever wanna celebrate when an animal has been harmed, but we also wanna make sure that we are providing kudos to the officers that are able to recognize when things don't happen quote unquote, by accident. So with that being said, let's talk about what they have done so far this year. Now, just this is just for 2024. So, so far they have submitted 27 cases to the prosecutor. That means that these are uh, misdemeanor or felony level cases. That's not including anything city ordinance. In addition to that, there's 13 more being processed for the prosecutor. And then also another 10 that are currently being investigated. So huge kudos to not only the officers, but our animal care team, medical team, and our dispatchers that are help coordinating all of the evidence that goes along with these cases. So again, not that we want to celebrate it, but I do want to recognize all the hard work and the emotional toll that goes into these cases. All right, staff updates. So as of right now, we do have a new dispatcher who started. Her name is Erica Bruno. Um, we have made a conditional offer to another dispatcher for our final open position, and they will uh, likely start by mid to late October. And then of course, we are still looking for a animal control officer. So if you know of anyone, obviously go ahead and have them um, apply. But otherwise, as always, thank you very much for all your hard work and I'll see you next month. <laughs>